Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Crystal H Flow. I'm back, I'm back to YouTube. It's been a while, over two years. Now I'm back to share with you what's going on in my life. And um, for this morning, I am going to uh, eat. This is going to be my first meal. What is this? I'm going to eat with you and share with you what's going on. So, first off, this is a, uh, this is half of what this is. This is a sticky rice for the Lunar New Year, Chinese New Year. We had it for the past for a few weeks, but it's still good. So, what I did is I deep fried it. Very crunchy. And I eat it with uh, one piece of just one egg, over easy, easy egg. And uh, this is a homemade homemade um, food that goes with the uh, with what I have. Uh, what is this called? I forgot what it is called. I have been away from YouTube for quite some time, about two years to be exact. It is so, so good. Very crunchy. So, what am I up to, you may ask? There's a lot, lot of things going on in my life. I published my second book. Yep, I did. That was, that was last year in me. I will put a link in this video to show you where um, is that? It's on uh, Amazon.com. Mm. I'm about to celebrate my file. <laughs> I don't believe it. I still cannot feel it. I don't feel it at all. I keep telling myself and family and friends, 28 is my number. Yep. No matter when, how old I am going to be, I'm going to let myself know that I'm going to be always 28. You know what? If you feel young, you work hard to uh, take care of your health. Act young, then age is just a number. It doesn't matter. I know some people who were in their 30s or even 40s. 
They feel so old. They told me I'm old. And I, I told them, I told my friends, co-workers, you know, if you tell yourself you're old, then your body will listen to you. And that's how you start breaking down. Just live, live life. Be the best you can be. Every day, make it a, a, a productive life, a, a productive day, then, you know, might live to be a hundred, um, whatever the age that um, you are allowed to live, but make it worthwhile. That's my philosophy. So, most of the time, I do take good care of myself. Always go to um, sleep on time. My normal day is around 10 o'clock. I start winding down, watching some. Sometimes I watch some comedy shows, nothing serious, because I don't want that linger in my sleep. I listen to classical music. I fall asleep around 10:30 to 11 every day, even on the weekend. And my body just wake up every day at 6 o'clock, even on the weekend too. <laughs> even I want to sleep more, I can't. So it's my routine. Seven hours average at night. That's how I take care of my health, by sleeping regularly. As for eating, most of the time I eat healthy food. I enjoy cooking. That's one of the things that I do when I have friends and family over. I enjoy making dishes. And um, in a few months, in a few months, I will be sharing videos of uh, what I make. Some dishes I already know, so I'm still learning. I, I enjoy experimenting new dishes. So that's what I will be doing. This is hot tea. Every day I drink hot tea. This is a bag of green tea. Sometimes I drink chamomile tea. But this is a green bag, green tea. When I get to work every day, I just drink tea, and then when it's, um, I finish the, the tea, I just renew, um, just pour in the new uh, hot water and drink it for the whole day. I don't drink soda at all. For juice, I usually like juice sometimes, but now I cut back on juice because juice have a lot of sugar. And my goal is to uh, lose some more fat. I lost 10 pounds. <laughs> Very happy on that. It took me three months to lose 10 pounds. I haven't lost any lately, but I want to lose another 10 pounds. Been only 5'2, almost 5'2. <laughs> I need to get um, my. Ideal weight would be 125. Right now I'm 140. <laughs> so I'm, I'm 15 pounds overweight. Um, my goal is to lose 15. It's nice to be able to wear the clothes you want to wear. But what more important is the health. I was, I was feeling worried that my weight start gaining, going up and up. I don't know what was going on. I guess part of it because I was kind of bored at work. So between phone calls, I snacked almost nonstop. And being older, 
my metabolism metabolism is not working properly anymore. So whatever I eat is fake, and that's not good. So I gained a lot of weight in the last few years, and um, I'm working on losing that. It is so good. Mmm. You know the the sticky rice. It has no flavor. But this one that my daughter's mom homemade for me, it has some flavor in there. So and crunchy. It's just it it, it complements each other. It's so good. And the little hot sauce I have. Mmm. We just celebrated the Lunar New Year two weeks ago. It's the year of the rat. That's why I'm wearing red flowers today. And we still have the um, New Year flowers. The New Year God for prosperity. I got lucky to live in America and plus because I every year I get to celebrate two New Year's the Western New Year and the Chinese Vietnamese Lunar New Year Some New Year cookies. Still have some left. I learned something from last year. This is from China's co worker. This is a tangerine, an orange light tangerine family. So in Chinese, it's a lucky fruit. I guess the style of the the, the name of the um, fruit is similar to the word prosperity. So um, starting last year, I bought a whole bunch and give it away and have it as uh, when my guests come over, they can eat them. And I just have a few left. Learn a few things from, I like different culture and um, love to learn from them and share with others. Also in Chinese, Chinese believes that for New Year, oh, I believe it's that New Year or birthday, you eat, if you eat noodles for your birthday, because noodles are supposed to be long, if you eat it, you will have a long life. <laughs> That's just the that, that's just their culture that we live. So for this new year I cook chow mein. I cook several dishes and one of the dishes is chow mein. My niece husband, he was with us. So he got his himself a plate of chow mein and some other food. And he asked us what happened? Am I going to die soon? Because my chow mein is short. It's not long like this. <laughs> we laugh. <laughs> no, you will have a very long life. What's going on right now in the world? You know, everybody is talking about 
coronavirus. It is a disease that is not contained. There is no vaccine for that disease. It's a world news. So every country is aware of that. At this point, what can you or your family do to prevent yourself from getting the disease? or spreading it to others. One most important thing is keeping yourself clean at all times. The suggestion is washing your hands 20 seconds with soap at all times. And do it as often as you can. I always wash my hands. Always. I have always washed my hands really well. I have this practice that after I leave the public restroom, before I leave the public restroom, I always use tissue they have there to open the door, public restroom door, after I wash my hands. And that was touch my hand with it. If there is no toilet paper, there's no uh, power, paper power, I would just use my shirt, my skirt to open the door, but I would not use my hand. I have always practiced that for the longest time. That's why um, I'm, I'm happy and, and blessed that I have been well physically for a year without taking any, without getting sick as far as the flu concerned. Right now, the coronavirus is uh, spreading. We have, on January 30, that's 8,000 people are infected by the virus. So far, we have 173 die, and all of them are from China. So, it is uh, spreading very fast. At this point, what we can do is just to um, make sure we are clean at all times and um, educate our loved ones. Avoid from going to public places. That's the second thing, if you can. And don't travel, uh, to, uh, especially on the airplane at this point, because you don't know who's infected. Or even public transportation. And if you have to, then wear mask, wear mask, face mask. What else? You know, after uh, this, I for the longest time I never look into flu shot. I always say to myself, I'm too healthy to even think of flu shot or what is it supposed to do for you. I never, I never consider of having flu shot, but recently I, uh, I looked into it and I found a number of deaths caused by influenza is outrageous. In 2000. In the flu season 2018 to 19, 2019, 35 million were sick because of this flu. 16 people visit the hospital and 34,000 died. And that's in the United States. Oh my goodness. I never knew that big of a number that was infected by that flu influenza. So, at this point, 
everybody is, is talking about coronavirus, but they're not talking much about influenza. And I want to bring awareness to the public that influenza is more deadly and it is happening and it has been happening here in the United States. 34 million died because of this. So what can we do? Fortunately, we do have flu shot for this influenza. So after talking to you today, most likely this week, I will visit a CVS or Walmart or anywhere that they give flu shot or even Kaiser, uh, not Kaiser, Target, I heard that they give flu shot. So that's what I will be doing is uh, getting a flu shot. It's better to prevent than to cure because once you get it, it's, it's more deadly. And people are not talking about it. All they are talking about everywhere you, you hear is coronavirus. What about influenza? So um, think about that and do some research. And uh, according to the Center for Disease Control, only 45% of adults took the flu shot last year, 45%, and I am not in that percentage. That, that's just not good. Knowledge, knowledge can um, help you can, um, you know, people are ignorant, people are uh, just out, not knowing things because they, they're not looking into it, not listening to the right news, and um, so if you listen to the right news and uh, do you research yourself, you know what you need to do to take care of yourself and others, you know. At this point, all I can say is get yourself flu shot and your children because right now that is, we have the um, uh, the shots available corona virus we don't have it at this point all you can do is just be be, be careful when you're out there and that's all you can do at this point so um, that's all I want to share with you on my uh, the first coming back to this channel I want to do it weekly in a few months I will be uh, like I said earlier earlier I will be uh, sharing um, special dishes that I make I have so far I have written down 50 dishes that I will be making and they are from different countries, zones. Of course, American, Mexican, Vietnam, China, Thai food. So far, I know five, six different ethnicities, different uh, cultures, different food that I will be sharing. My passion is cooking special dishes. So I will be learning more. The more I know, the more I like to share. I enjoy having family and friends over to share my uh, special dishes. So that's all I have for today. And uh, thank you for um, joining me this morning. Take care. Bye-bye for now.